If you're looking for a beautiful piece of jewelry, there's plenty of ways to decorate your body. You can sport a bold piercing, flash some expensive earrings, or even don some beautiful bracelets. But if solid gold or stainless steel isn't quite your style, you could always take your dead cat and turn that into a necklace. What? I wanted a piece of jewelry to wear with her ashes or her fur, which I have both. So here's a woman out of Rhode Island whose 11-year-old cat died two years ago. She's got four other cats now, but she'd had that 11-year-old kitty since it was born. Now, whenever her pets naturally lose their whiskers, she doesn't just turn on the Roomba and call it a day. She holds onto them as a keepsake. Surprisingly, a lot of people do keep their whiskers. Yeah, I guess kind of like how someone might keep a lock of hair or even a whole head in a jar as a cherished memento, this woman collects her cat's discarded whiskers. But she doesn't just stuff them into a binder like a baseball card. She turns them into jewelry. She started out by making a ring for herself in memory of her cat using its whiskers. And since then, she's turned these loose pieces of feline anatomy into a business opportunity. Some people send me pictures. Um, I've gotten a lot of handwritten letters talking about the animals. Her online business is called Fallen Whiskers Jewelry. And starting for around 45 bucks, she'll take your pet's final remains and turn them into something you can wear, anywhere from a job interview to an anniversary dinner. I can use ashes, fur, whiskers, anything really anybody, any pet owner would want to remember their pet by. Now this woman doesn't just take your pieces of old pet so she can invest in Bitcoin and get rich like the rest of us. She actually uses the proceeds from her pet jewelry to help out this cat community center that's apparently part of some automotive group. I clean out their cages, make sure they have food and water, <laughs> scoop a lot of litter boxes, and then just spend time with the cats. Not only does she volunteer, she uses the cash from her pet jewelry business to buy up products for the center's cats. Here's someone else who works there. What Katie does is an inspiration. You know, it touches people's heart. Even though she still misses her old cat, our artisan here remains pleased that she's able to help others who have lost their pets too. It's very heartwarming and um, rewarding to be able to, to do this for people. And by the way, your dead cat isn't the only thing you can craft into a fine piece of jewelry. Other companies like CremationSolutions.com can not only turn your dog into a necklace, but the cremated remains of your mom, your brother, your boss, or whoever else entrusted you with their ashes can be turned into a beautiful diamond for the low cost of thousands of dollars. So just in case you were planning to propose to someone you love using the ring of your grandmother, let's uh, hope they hurry up here.